Remember, they're changing my voice here. In part four, I believe we are in right now. I'm going to make it clear that people who don't obey God, then they are immature. With just a few scriptures. 1 John 2, 15. Do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, love for the Father is not in them. Also consider Revelation 18, where it says, Come out of Babylon's system, the world's system. People who are worldly, right? The mark of the beast is accepting the boundaries of the world, which is telling you to not obey God through me. Okay? And that is rebellion. You're cheating me. Thou shalt not steal. You're cheating me out of my right to leave. And it's that simple. No one has a viable counter-argument, or they would have made it a long time ago. Proverbs 5.21 For your ways are in full view of the Lord, and he examines all of your paths. The evil deeds of the wicked ensnare them. The cords of their sins hold them fast. For lack of discipline they will die, led astray by their own great folly. Jesus, I believe it is in John 8, says that whoever sins is a slave to sin. Okay. And that's pretty straightforward that it is a sin to cheat me out of my right to live. And being a transcendent hero, transcending with the true focus, moral intensity, and righteousness and justice from God is not conforming to the world. And it can only be done by being in a spirit of justice and righteousness and having the motives of justice and righteousness, which would include obeying God through me by default. It is some cowardly female cowardice to not do so. So cops and all these guys acting tough, bodybuilders, military, you know, UFC fighters, they're just acting like little scared little girls, like unruly women, right? Proverbs 9, 13. Folly is an unruly woman. She is simple and knows nothing. Remember, Proverbs 5, 23. For lack of discipline, they will die led astray by their own great folly. They're led astray because they're acting like an unruly woman. Okay? Proverbs uh, 14, 9. Fools mock and make it amends for sins, but goodwill is found among the upright. Also, the Bible says, folly is in the heart of a child, but the rod of discipline will drive it away. So they weren't disciplined enough to be men. They weren't focused. They weren't dedicated to virtue. Ver in virtue means man. Okay, so they're immature. Even the word mature has the word mate. Your mate scrambled. So who did you consider to be your mate? Who, who, who are, what spirit are you in? A, you're in the spirit of trying to cover up down the top martial arts ever to confuse people about who should be mating with who. And that is completely despicable. Okay? The wise fear the Lord and shun evil, but a fool is hot-headed and feels secure. So they do not have virtue, so they're not men. They did not come into the divine order and insist on romantic justice, so they're not men. Thank you.